All right, kings and queens, this is King Stevion checking in with y'all. That is the foreign trust, renter's trust number, okay? Don't use that. You go to jail. You go to prison. Now, what is the reason for getting the foreign renter's trust number? So that way you can separate yourself from the domestic, okay? Now you might say, well, how is it beneficial for child support? Where you're taking control of that trust that they've been using without your permission. It is exposing that there is a trust. The estate goes in the trust, okay? And then in the trust, the estate trusts you to take care of it. That's why it says we trust in the Lord. My trust is in the Lord. Everything that I need is in the trust of the Lord. So... Let me break it down for you. Line one. Legal name of entity. I did not have to do that. Okay. So what I did was. Line two. Because you got to have a name that's different from your domestic. I have a domestic trust in that name right there. So. I added a state at the end. So it's Stevie Tyrone Thompson. A state trust. All right. And that came to me as I was headed back home from the copy shop to do that. Now, on this side here is the domestic side. This is where your mailing will go. That's the address. They did not do the zip code exempt. They had to put that in there. As he said, I'm going to do the recording, put the recording up so y'all can hear it. Now, on this side, he's going to ask all this stuff. And you're going to hear the recording that I have where he says... Okay, um, where it can be used for both. All right, so he actually was a trustee. I said me, of course, King Stevion of Cityside. Now, the address here is in Kenya. Now, this is a place I know in Kenya. Okay, this is a place I do business with in Kenya. Okay, so that's another home for me. Now, now I'm a responsible party, boom. And I did mention in the beginning, if you hit a record, and I did say put the trust. Okay, but it was the TIN of the grantor, which I want to say it was actually uh, the estate, Stevie Tyrone Thompson estate that was being the grantor. But that's okay. All right, because like he said in the documents in the end of the conversation, that you can change that around. So it doesn't matter what mistakes you make here. You can always correct them in your documents. Now, he didn't ask none of that. He went straight to line 8A when he asked, is this for LLC? The answer is no. Okay. Um, date it started. I gave him that date there. Closing month, December. Okay. Employees, I put none. Because I can always edit it. And he gave me the form name that you do to edit this stuff. So, but remember, after two weeks, it takes effect in their system. So that's when you want to do any editing or adding or merging. Okay? So, none of this was asked. None of that. That was asked. You're supposed to put one, but I told him zero. Okay? And that was actually for domestic too. That's something you got to keep in mind. So if you got a domestic company, then you put the company as one. Okay? So, it's just that simple. Nothing difficult. You don't have to do that like I did it, but I'm going to do that on the next one that's going to be the grantor of it, because I'm going to create another one. Okay? You want to have two so that way you can be uh, let me, let me stop this for a second. Let me stop. Let me stop this. Matter of fact, I'm going to let you go ahead and hear this. Let's go ahead and record this now. Welcome to the Internal Revenue Service International and U.S. Residency Certification Services. To continue in English, press 1. Para continuar en español, opinado. If you are calling with questions regarding economic impact payments, otherwise known as stimulus payments, please visit www.com. 
Space Trust. The state takes uh, a space trust, and we just abbreviate trust with PR here. So, um, okay. uh, the, is the mailing address going to be here in the U.S. or outside the country? It's going to be here in the United States. Okay, what is the mailing, the zip code on the mailing address? Three two three two seven. Okay, what state is that in? That is in Florida. Thank you. And just to make sure, uh, the one we're setting up for you today is a trust, so you do have that word estate in the name, but that, that's the legal name when you're using it as a trust, is that correct? Correct. Okay, thank you. Just a moment. Okay, let me go ahead. Uh, we will list you. Uh, we will list you as the trustee. So let me go ahead. We'll put you. Is there anyone else in the name on line three besides yours there? On line three? No. Yeah. Because you would be the you would be the trustee there. Correct. Okay. Okay. The telephone number that you gave me, the 
Yes. Uh, do you want that as a contact number? Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and spell everything back for you. Uh, if uh, something is incorrect, just uh, let me know, okay? Okay. So, I have the legal name on the entity is S-T-E-V-I-B space. Yes. T-Y-R-O-N-E space. P-H-O-M-P-S-O-N space. Okay. E-S-T-A-T-E space, and we use T-R for trust there. Okay. The the middle, the, the name Tyrone is with a T, not a B. T yeah. as in Tom. Um, uh, I, I have it. I'll spell it just to make sure. Okay. okay. I have it as T as Tom, uh, Y-R-O-N-E. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, and I have you as the trustee. I have K I N G space S T E V I A N space O F space D Y S I P E space, and then after your name, we put T T E E for trustee. Okay, so the city side city side is with a C. It's C I C as in cat. C I T Y S I D E. Thank you. Let me make sure you get that correct. Thank you. That's why we do this to make sure we get it correct that last time. So, okay, just a second here. So I have that, and after the word of O F, I have. C-I-T-Y-F-I-B-E space T-T-E-E for trustee. Is that correct? That's correct. Now, can we go to oh. line two for Thompson? Uh, I can, you, yeah, let me go, sure, let me, yeah, let me go back to, uh, second here. I can, I can spell all of it over if you want. Yes. Just, here. just let me, let me do that just to make sure. We want to make sure we get it right, okay? Correct. I keep hearing like uh, a little background noise on my end, so I think I'm, I'm cutting it out a little bit here. So let's, let me spell all that again just to make sure. Okay. So I have the legal name is S T E V I E space. And I have that T E I Tango Y R O N E space. And then I have Thompson. I have that in T H O M P S O N space E S T A T E space. ER for trust. Correct. Then below that, I have you as the trustee, and I have that as K-I-N-G space S-T-E-V-I-A-N space O-F space V-I-T-Y-F-I-D-E space T-T-E-E for trust. Is that correct? Correct. Okay, then we'll verify the address here. I have it as 142 space dogwood, D-O-G-W-O-O-D space L in Colleen. Correct. The city is Crawfordville, C-R-A-W-F-O-R-D-V-I-L-L-E, comma, F-L for Florida, space 32327. Okay, do your spell out in Florida. We, no, we're required to use the postal abbreviation, so we just do FL there. Okay. Okay. Uh, and the computer defaults to that. It'll, you can plug in the state that's going to, we have to use the postal abbreviation, so it's just FL. Then the, um, on the location address, I have that in 671 space, N-G-O-N-G space, R-D for road space. Next word is P P Mont P I E D M O N T space. We abbreviate plasma with P L Z. Okay. Space four T H space F L for floor to make sure we get everything on that line. I abbreviated floor with F L. Okay. And then the the city is N A I R O B I comma and the country is Kenya, K-E-N-Y-A, and our computer doesn't require that postal code on Kenya. Okay, do y'all require, um, do y'all accept box numbers? Not on the 5A and 5B. The, if it's a mailing address, we'll, you know, we can put like a PO box or something on the mailing address. If we 
want to, but the 5 being 5 b we don't. It's just basically a, a location address on the internet. Okay. Does everything on the spelling sound okay for you? Everything's correct. Okay, we'll have you be in here in a few seconds, just a moment. Okay. Okay, guys, so that is that. Um, I tried to ask some questions that a lot of you might have for them. Um, that just answers a lot, and you can read between the lines on a lot of the stuff, figure it out for yourself. But I asked those questions for a reason. And now I didn't intend on making King Stevie on the Grand Tour, but that's where he said the paperwork that you have can state that such and such as the grand tour you got a security agreement that can state all that okay so doesn't matter okay so 
If you got any questions, hit me up, 850-345-4120. King Stevion, I'm out.